Hi everybody, so what I am making in this video is to explain the plotting a sine wave with the total graphics here. So we have this uh, interactive python which uh, shows uh, what is the function, sine function and this is this sinusoidal wave or sine wave. And uh, starts with the one simple uh, function. Uh, Give the simple code saying that simple how to get if you have uh, some angle then how to get the radian value of that uh, angle because the sine function will take the radian value not the other, uh, other values so if I run this I will get one here hopefully you can say so see the radian value of 90 is one so it's again the next is it's telling that it is using the same in a for loop for loop what is that that like giving some given some value I will give a small value so that not to take more time so if I give 10 here so I will get all the angles all the radian values of all the angles up to 10 so if I run this see I got 0 for 0 for 0 and everything up there and you see all the values are between 0 and 1 so 90 is 1 you previously saw that 90 was 1 so all the values between 9 uh, 0 angle and 90 angle 90 degree is uh, between 0 and 1 and now it says that you have a plot and you give you in the in a plot you have x axis and y axis so you, you have, if you have a turtle you can give it the go to function and go to function will take the x value and y value so in your plot you can tell your turtle to go to somewhere so if from 0 like this uh, point is 0 0 so both x and y values are 0 everything here uh, on this quadrant will be all negative both x is values negative and y values negative and uh, here all the values are positive so if I give 50 60 50 means 50 towards x axis and 60 towards y axis so it will be somewhere over here so it has the code is over here it imports the math for the radian values and if uh, imports the turtle for turtle and uh, describes the screen for it and then it has a turtle describe turtle and tells the turtles <coughs> sorry tell the turtle to go to the 50 60 value and that's it so if I run it hopefully you can see this so it, it goes your function your total from 0 value 0 0 like x and y are 0 here went to here at this point my x is 50 and y is 60 now it's asked you to that uh, you can iterate the angle between 0 to 60 and between 0 to 60 you can draw a circle and uh, instead of circle you can also draw as your uh, as your uh, turtle will move forward it will draw a sine wave, wave. so this is the uh, the skeleton code they have given you can write your own code so you can draw a circle so I will just uh, explain a little bit more on the, the uh, paint so if I have uh, a circle this central point over here is somewhere over here if I have right correctly so if you can see that it's somewhere over here it is uh, both x and y are 0 and all the values are at some angle if you like if you draw this line it is straight line it is all the way 0 the line is not straight but uh, this is uh, 0 I can use this one and then if I have something over here and So this is like so uh, come here yep. so this is like zero all the way to zero all the way up means x is remains zero but y remains uh, y uh, keeps on increasing here x is increasing in this direction and this angle over here is angle over here is 90 degree and the whole circle like from here to here it is 90 
this other quadrant will be 90 again so if I have something up here this line the line is always 180 so this line is 180 and if I have some some line line got so got anyway so so this line is 180 and this line is again 180 means that all the four quadrants will create a 360 degree uh, angle so 360 degree in angle is not in radians but in angle it is creates a circle so just to explain this now if I have uh, the if I try to show you the uh, code which I uh, work for on uh, So I have uh, this code. I do have code. So uh, I you uh, import turtle. This was the uh, skeleton code already given. I have this code here, which uses a for loop. For loops. Uh, I don't know. Some people have might not have uh, started working on for loop, but this module in future will come uh, for loop. So for loop from X to 180. So uh, if you see, as I explained previously. 180 means that you are right now you have half the circle you don't have a full circle so 360 will make full circle y is another variable which stores all the values of x into uh, radian so this radian uh, value we will use to draw the circle and x is the other x value x which which comes from the for loop and we will move our uh, turtle thread from from uh, the zero zero point which we start from and goes to the uh, x and y value. So hopefully this I explained it well. Or if you, and if I save it and run it, you'll see my because it is it started from here and went all the way up and came back here. So now it's just making half circle. So because my values, uh, this it is not a perfect circle, it was elliptical circle because I want to make a wave. So if I close this right now, and if I now I know it, I is making like half circle, I can I want to make the full circle, I will want 360. And if I save it and F5 run, now it will make a complete wave. You see, uh, it is the straight line. It starts from same uh, x value, but it is making a wave. And this, if we join this wave right now here, it will be a elliptic, elliptical uh, circle, eclipse. Kind of thing. So, and that's what we have. But if you, if I want to continue my wave, I can give more values to it. But that was like one wave, complete wave. I, if I want to have a uh, more I can even make it like so let's say it is I want to make it 700 so it will the wave will continue going on that's making a uh, wave and uh, the other thing which you uh, might have noticed is that is that we change the setting of the our coordinate because uh, this was because like if I, if I remove these values uh, so this first of all I will like show you like what but this is so this uh, W and uh, is my window set world coordinates uh, is a built in function which I don't know why it's not working let's actually run it once and if I wanted to, yeah. So that that's it. So the, these are the so these are the values which the set world coordinates takes. So it is at least if you see again if you see these are x y and x y values. So these are actually uh, lower left and lower left y. 
So lower left x and lower left y and upper right x and upper right y. These are four values. So if I uh, just need to, don't need to do anything. I will just keep remember my values. So 0 is my lower left x and then lower left y which is minus 1 so you see it went all the way down and uh, again I am trying to create the upper right uh, x to be 1000 because I want my, my screen to be a little bit bigger and 1 is again uh, this one minus 1 and plus 1 these are again radians and if you remember uh, the uh, circle it was from 0 between 0 and 1 so minus 1 is the lowest boundary for uh, my circle so if I again run it you'll see that it is all the way going down uh, this is like this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 and this is 0 so that's why that's why I wanted to have my circle to have at least my windows to have at least that much value for uh, Windows 2 has at least that much values so that it can uh, go to uh, draw complete circle. So hopefully this uh, helped you some some way. And if you have still have any problem or still have sent any questions, do let me know. So this was the code again. I draw the uh, my, uh, import imported the files. I drew uh, my defined my windows. I defined my turtle. Then I was using a for loop. I Draw, uh, went uh, told my uh, turtle to go to places x and y coordinates and which were based on the sine function and because it was based on fine sine function so it drew a sinusoidal wave and then i did it so hopefully this helped if you still have any uh, problem do let me know thank you